AITA for telling my sister why bluntly she's not the next guardian of our new baby if something happens to me or my husband. Me and my husband recently had our first child. After IVF treatments, thousands and thousands of fertility, and a few miscarriages we had her. Our family is proud and it's just such a blessing to have her. Our family, my mom and dad and my two sisters and their SOs and kids, gather every other Sunday for lunch where grandma cooks and everyone can relax and the kids can play. I was holding my daughter when business came up. Me and my husband own a business and insurance, and ECT ECT. My parents are the beneficials if something ever happened God forbid. My husband has disavowed his family since he was 16, so it's just my side. One of my sisters, let's call her Kay, suddenly said, that's weird. Why are our parents the ones to inherit money if something happened to us when they are older and retired, have their money, while she is struggling to pay her bills? Kay has been engaged for the last 11 years to a man that's 25 years her senior and is very odd. She had five kids by him. She and her family gets evicted yearly due to the damage they do to the apartments and are overall struggling. In my opinion, something that they do to themselves. She refuses to work and allows her kids to rampage. She's also recently gotten in trouble legally because she was selling her food stamps for cash and was caught. I immediately tried to change the subject but my mom didn't notice and said, well now with baby if anything happens, we'll adopt her and the business. My sister snapped and demanded why she wouldn't be the next in line to raise the baby, you know, in the event me and my husband's death. I tried to change the subject again. She demanded why I'd trust our 70-year-old parents with a baby over her, and experienced mother. I snapped too. I told her how she's getting evicted every six months. How every time she thinks her boyfriend is about to leave her she gets pregnant. Years ago, she had a CPS case opened against her for leaving two of her toddlers in a running car at a gas station. I had some dot low blows, I admit. Her kids are always dirty. Snot down their faces, knotted hair. Their teeth are rotting out of their heads. She gathered her kids and left. My other sister sent a not cool text and my family had two members that died in 9-11 and we have a family gathering every year so my parents are asking me to apologize and put this behind us so we can focus on that tomorrow. No. I'm sick of it. She's calling out my new parenting when she's barley hanging on? She used to drop her kids off on our doorstep, barley clothed, and then return the next morning. And she's upset I don't want to give her guardianship if me and my husband's death happens?